Let's take a short break from the Monsterverse, from Kaijus and Dragons and travel back in time to the beginning of this century, to a movie that was kind of popular and hilarious. This movie is Evolution which had American Pie's Tiff Meister and others confronting an ever-evolving alien menace that came down to the planet and threatens to overturn the entire biosphere of the Earth. Here in this video we will take a look at the genus life form that never stops adapting and evolving, a life form that at the end of the movie transforms into a gigantic creature that even dwarfs Godzilla and the Titans, and for a reason that we will explain later, is impervious to Godzilla's attacks if they were ever in a crossover flick. So let's get to it. So the genus life form's origins remain shrouded in mystery, their arrival on Earth marked by their emergence from a porous meteorite. These microscopic blue unicellular organisms quickly evolve into a diverse array of multicellular life within an impact crater, mirroring an intricate ecosystem reminiscent of Earth's during the ancient past. Their life cycle is characterized by an extraordinary capacity for rapid evolution, achieving in hours or days what other life forms might take centuries or even millions of years to accomplish. The genus exhibits a biochemistry centered around nitrogen instead of carbon, boasting 10 fundamental bases in their DNA, a stark contrast to Earth's carbon-based life forms which only have 4 nitrogenous bases. Remarkably, exposure to high temperatures triggers an evolutionary overdrive propelling them through complex transformations. These genus life forms reproduce asexually and their parasitic nature suggests a life cycle that consumes and ultimately obliterates infested worlds sending out new colonies to perpetuate the life cycle across the universe. This is a hyper-aggressive form of panspermia. So as these aliens evolve, they transition from microscopic cells to larger, more complex forms, forming a very intricate ecosystem in the caves. These multicellular life includes analogs to familiar earth organisms like lichens, worms and insects. They then continue to evolve becoming animals that resemble ancient extinct life forms. One such vertebrate creature escapes the impact crater, evolving into reptilians and then later mammalian forms, as seen with the dinosaur-like dragon and the amphibian crocodile-like creature. Anyway, initially confined to the caves which has become the alien's ecosystem, some of these species evolve the ability to adapt and survive in the oxygen-rich atmosphere of Earth, therefore escalating the danger that they pose to the entire planet. They also begin to evolve into bluish primates with no noses. This shows that after a few more days, the genus aliens would then begin to have sentient life forms and have the ability to utilize technology and whatnot. But then, their fast but gradual evolutionary path was rocked to the core, and this triggered the climax of their evolution. This occurred when the military, in its attempt to eradicate them through explosive force, through napalm, instead triggers an unforeseen evolutionary leap that resulted in the amalgamation of all the life forms into one, into a colossal titanic amoeboid superorganism. This giant amoeba creature was hundreds or even thousands of meters in size and was able to cover an entire town beneath its body and shadow. The main danger was realized when this creature started to divide by mitosis and then the theorized propagation of such gigantic creatures would wipe out humanity in a matter of months. But thankfully, the alien's vulnerability was discovered as the element called selenium, akin to arsenic's relationship to carbon, a poison. This becomes the crucial discovery, leading to the successful containment and destruction of the infestation by dosing the gigantic monster with a truckload of selenium derived from common household shampoo, therefore preventing an extinction event. So here is a concise description and timeline of all the genus life forms that were seen in the movie. So in the beginning was an ooze that came out of the media. This undergoes a rapid chemical evolution, becoming the first unicellular supercells, which was observed under a microscope. These blue amoeboid organisms then evolve into multicellular alien microbes and then spawning subsequent life forms in just a few hours. The next step in their evolution is alien fungi and flatworms which colonize the crater, with the latter evolving into alien amphibians that invades nearby pools. After a few days, a rainforest ecosystem emerges hosting diverse creatures like the blue and black alien crustaceans, the rainforest predators, and the symmetrical alien creature. This shows a jump in evolution that would have otherwise taken hundreds of millions of years in just a few days or a couple of weeks. Further evolution leads to an insect-like alien parasite that can invade the human body and also into larger aquatic reptilian aliens that began infesting nearby pools and water sources. There was also the green frog-like alien that attempted to live outside the cavern ecosystem and had some sort of a second mouth beneath its mouth, but it failed and was followed by the emergence of formidable alien dragons, which spawned an offspring that was actually tolerant of Earth's atmosphere. Uh, anyway, in the caverns, 
an alien ape evolves which showed high levels of intelligence and also aggression, posing a significant potential threat. In the end, we get the alien fleshy mass triggered by the extreme heat of the napalm, growing into cavern tentacles and then rapidly evolving into a gigantic amoeboid meta-organism, resembling the original unicellular forms. This giant monster is bigger than Godzilla and can rapidly heal and evolve into other life forms, just like its microscopic version. And given its chemical propensity towards heat, the atomic breath of Godzilla would only further its evolution. So like I said, that this monster is impervious to the G-Man. However, on a side note, the director's commentary for the film reveals that the intended ultimate life form emerging through the climax was originally conceptualized to surpass both primates and humans as the ultimate antagonist, something akin to a highly intelligent humanoid alien that would possess extrasensory powers. However, concerns arose that this ultimate genus life form might not possess sufficient size to evoke terror upon its emergence, given the evolutionary trajectory of the genus life forms at that time. As a result, they opted to replace it with the colossal amoeba for a more imposing and frightening presence. And yeah, so this is the original and the last species of the genus life form. So even though the movie was a sci-fi action comedy, its initial plan was a story that had a very serious tone and would have been a classic cosmic horror flick if given the green light. Now if you like this video then check this other one as well and do check out our channel for other monster content. We might have things that you haven't seen before. Like, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Take care fam.